What goes on guys, we're back here again with another review. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Mattel Amber Collection, John Hammond from Jurassic Park. And you know, it took so long to get him. Like, I don't know why they waited so long to put the main character or one of the main characters in the line. Um, but I'm not complaining that he's finally here. You can see on the side, you get the embossed like dinosaur fossils on the side, as per usual. You get the mosquito. Then you get a picture of John Hammond. And then it has a little bio right there. If you can pause and read that, if you'd like. You get the Jurassic Park logo right there on the side. You get the window with all like, the craggly rocks with the magma inside. The Jurassic Park logo there. John Hammond. And you can see everything inside. I already took him out. So the cane did not come like that. I just didn't feel like putting it all the way back in. But yeah, so let's go ahead and take this guy out of the package. So taking a look at good old John Hammond out of the packaging, I gotta say for what it's supposed to be, this figure is awesome. I'm really happy, like I said, to finally have this character in action figure form. I never knew I wanted a six inch line of articulated uh, Jurassic Park characters until Mattel decided to go ahead and make the Amber Collection. So this is really right up my alley. Jurassic Park is one of my favorite movies. I go to school to study. I, I'm going to be taking a class in paleontology. So I love dinosaurs. I have my whole life. So Jurassic Park was a natural love for me. But going about this figure, I got to say, this thing, I think the head sculpt looks fantastic. I mean considering the fact that Mattel doesn't do the face print technology. This is the hat that I'm going to use. You know, you got to get a signature straw hat with the big glasses. You get the nice beard. I think it's painted relatively nice. Again, considering it's not like photo reel or anything, I think it's painted on really nice. You get the hat on there. It's like a nice soft plastic, so that works really well. Then going down into the body, you know, he's a little bit more robust, I guess is the best way to put it. So, you know, he's not like your normal sized person. You know, he's a little bit huskier, which is totally accurate and fine by me. They did like this nice brownish wash across the figure, um, but a little bit more heavy as you go down to the pants, um, which I really like that. I love the texture on the figure. On the back, you get like that, like... I don't know, like that kind of like polo shirt effect, I want to say. That looks really nice. This one, you do get double jointed elbows on, um, pinless, double jointed pinless knees, which we'll get to the articulation in a minute. Um, one thing I got to say is the hands are abnormally pink compared to the rest of the body. Um, on camera, they look pretty similar, but in person, the hand itself, not the hinge, but the hand is very pink. I don't know if that's just mine or if they're all like that, but mine is very pink. Um... Kind of throws me off a little bit. Um, I'll see when I take pictures later if it is really noticeable, but eh, it's not the end of the world. I'm really okay with it, to be honest. Um, and then you get down to this nice loafers, I think they are. They look pretty nice. You get the bottom painted. You get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So, yeah, I think this looks great for what it is. Uh, I can't be happier with it. I think, it's, <laughs> I think it looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories. So, as it is for most of the human characters of the Amber Collection, John Hammond comes with a bunch of accessories, and I I love when a figure comes with a bunch of accessories, especially like little nods to the movie, I think that's awesome. So, starting off with the boring stuff, and I put boring in quotes because it's not really boring, but you get two interchangeable hands, um, you get like... This, these are basically just the two grip hands, but I like that on each hand. The ring is painted on both of them, I think that works really nice. They're also pink, but whatever. Um, you get an alternate head, so if you add him pointing at his stuff, but you go ahead and pop the head off. There's not a hinge in this, or a dumbbell, which I found a little bit strange when I first opened it, because usually they do, but I don't need Hammond doing <laughs> much more than, like, old man stuff. So, go ahead and take the extra one on. It's kind of tight on there. It's actually really tight on there. But, you go ahead and pop that on, and you get the un- hatted like solemn face i think this looks great too like i like john hammond being all cheesy and grinning and stuff like that but i think this also works um like i said it's really really tight on there i'm actually wow it's really tight but um for this head he looks up about that much down that much gets a little gappy the head's kind of pink too but not as bad as the hands and then it rotates but it's really tight but i think it looks really good like i think it looks like the actor again considering this is not photo real i think this works so let me go ahead and take that off because that's really tight on there but 
Yeah, so you get the alternate head. Now for the fun stuff, you get a cane, his signature cane, with the nice paint wash on there. I think that looks great. And of course, you get the mosquito and ember on top. That is so awesome. That's painted on there, which is such an amazing detail. So I'm so happy to see that. And he holds that really well. You just go ahead and get the gripping hand, whatever side you want. Either one works. Go ahead plug that in and then I kind of like to have him like holding it down I guess you know like like he's using it so I kind of have it like that and I think that works excellently so I'm very happy to have that accessory I think that's awesome but I think the coolest accessory is a little baby velociraptor coming out of the egg when he in the beginning of the movie when he's originally showing like Ellie and um Grant and uh Ian Malcolm, like the, the, the park, he shows in this, and I love it. And it fits great in his hand, unlike the Barbersaw can that came with Dennis Nedry. He, Dennis Nedry cannot hold that thing for you know what. But John Hammond holds the egg really well, which I think works good because eggs are fragile. So <laughs> I would hope that he'd be able to hold it, plus that thing's probably really expensive. So yeah, I think that's awesome that he's able to hold it as well as he does. And I think that's a great load of accessories there. I mean, for a $20 figure, all new sculpt, all new accessories, I, I, I love that. So yeah, that turned out great. Let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. So for Hammond's articulation, the head is not really going to look up. He's going to look down a little bit, swivel side to side, and you do get a little bit of pivot, which I think is the most important for a character like him. Shoulders move up all the way. They move down all the way. Rotate 360. You get a hidden bicep swivel, on, uh, bicep swivel sorry, under the shirt, which is great. Pinless double-jointed elbows that look and work fantastic on this guy as best as I can. I'm, awesome. I'm very happy with that. It's awesome. You get a hinge at the wrist, horizontal hinge on both, on all four hands, actually, and then it swivels. You get a crunch, kind of, like there's definitely something in there, but it really doesn't work too well. A um, little bit of pivot, nothing crazy, um, but you do get a waist swivel in there. Hips will move outwards all the way. You kind of get that DCEU gaping crotch pit kind of deal, but not that big a deal. I'm not going to have him doing the splits anyway. Um, he'll kick forward all the way. Backwards, not so much. Thigh swivel, double jointed pinless knees that work really well on him. And then just an ankle hinge and swivel. No pivot on these guys. But for some reason, they still stand really good. So, I mean, I really can't complain. But yeah, I think this this articulation works for him. He doesn't need to be doing, like, acrobatic Spider-Man poses or anything like that. Like, he's just supposed to stand there and look like the guy from Jurassic Park. I mean, that's really all he needs to do. So, I'm really happy with the articulation on him. So here John Hammond is next to two of the Amber Collection figures, the first two figures, um, the original Dr. Ian Malcolm. I didn't get the new updated one with the double joints on the others. I wasn't really too into that. I didn't really care about having that. And the original JP1 Velociraptor. Um, I know they're re-releasing him too. The paint is actually pretty different, so I might cave in and pick up one of them. Because other than the double jointed elbow, Dr. Ian Malcolm, and this new repainted um jp1 velociraptor i have every amber collection um figure in my collection so i might want to keep up with that but i'm not really i'm not counting that ear ian malcolm because i don't need a second version if they did like a battle damage one with like the brace on the leg and then you know the iconic sexy pose i, I might cave in and get that one but uh, i'm not really worried about it um so i think john hammond he actually seems kind of short but then looking back at the movies or, yeah, the movies he was in, he is shorter than everybody, so I'm okay with it. And I think from afar, um, it'll look pretty good. Because I always thought Ian Malcolm was a little bit too tall for the collection, but uh, not too bad. So I'm really happy with the way that he looks with the rest of his JP roommates. So I know you all are asking the burning question, Ant, what do you think of this figure? And I gotta say, for what it is, it's perfect. I mean, sure, he could use a little bit more articulation in the neck but he doesn't as the character he doesn't need it so i'm okay with that i i think it's perfect the accessories are phenomenal with this guy i love the little velociraptor coming out of the egg that is such a nice touch 
Um, I think the head sculpts turned out good. I like the paint, deal, paint decal across the body. I like the proportions of him, how he's a little bit more bigger than the rest. I like that. Um, I think he's great. And I never thought I'd have a six inch um, scale figure of um, Dr. Professor John Hammond. I mean, that's pretty crazy to think about that we have that. So I'm very happy with it. Um, if I was to give this figure a rating, it'd, it'd be like a 9.5 out of 10. I really like it. Like I said, maybe a little bit more neck articulation, but again, he doesn't really need it. So what am I bitching about? But yeah, I think this figure's awesome. If you if you haven't got it yet, go do yourself a favor, go grab it. I can't wait to get the Dr. Ellie Settler. Uh, she hasn't hit my area yet. So as soon as she does, I'm definitely going to grab her. And then Grant, I want to keep up with this line. I was here when the line started and I will be trying to get every figure in the line so far. So hopefully that works nice for me. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear all your thoughts on the video. Um, if for you want to see some awesome pictures of this guy, please be sure to follow me on Instagram at Zach Toys. But that's all I got for today. See you in the next one. Peace.